women are being socially engineered to hate men and men are being socially engineered to be gay. She is literally speaking the scriptures. Romans 1 verse 26 to 27 reads, For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. Now, I could get real, real deep on this. This was, the book of Romans was written to Rome, okay? Rome still exists. The Vatican. What do you think that is all about, okay? the Jews who call themselves the Jews but they are not they're not really the Jews the Catholics who are supposed to be the head of the church many churches the head of the church is still Catholicism we could get real real deep into this and understand what Romans 1 is talking about and why we're seeing so many men turn to unnatural affections and women doing it too it stems from what I was just speaking about when a ruler believes in falsehood that officials will follow they will be wicked too a lot of the reasons as to why our society looks the way it is is to do with romans romans 1 sums it up the people who are governing uh running the world systems rome still exists you know many of the people the celebrities that go and say i want to thank god for this and that and this when they get awards what god do you think they are serving when you see celebrities meeting with the pope or the pope meeting with government officials what do you think's going on there don't you see wasn't it back in i just did a quick search you can see pope francis he formally approved letting catholic priests bless same-sex couples this was back in, on the 19th of december 2023 do you not understand do you not see the bible is real when a ruler agrees with falsehood that officials will be wicked and if you're going to study the bible today if you ain't read the bible go and read romans 1 you will see where we're at this is because rome catholicism is over western societies christians you even see pastors big mega church pastors meeting with the pope what are you serious do you even read your bible are you a biblical bear or a biblical brother i don't believe you but let me read this last bit for you this will just show you put everything into perspective why rulers if you're sitting under the rulership which we all are if we were living it under a western government pretty much we're uh, going to have we're going to experience uh, the consequences of having wicked rulers, rulers who agree with faulted. This is what we experience. And this is why we see this in our society, especially I'm reading from Romans 1 verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do things which are not fitting. So they ignored uh, the knowledge of God. The knowledge of God is his word. So if his word says this and this is an abomination and they're saying, no, we accept it. You know, it's just, it's, it, it is kind of natural. You know, we've got to get with the times. You know, they are given over to a debased mind. Uh, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Even goes down to that, you know, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, uh, that those who practice such things are deserving of death. Not only do the same, but also approve those of those who practice them. So any person who is just in agreement with it, yeah, you know, I, it's, it's, you know, if he wants to live his life that way, then fine, that's up to him. That's what they're deserving is death. That's what the scriptures say. And death is not always a uh, to your physical body it's a spiritual death many people who have unnatural desires when it comes to sexualities are suffering or internally with you know 
uh, anxiety and suicidal thoughts and depression and this not working out and having to flee this place because it's a spirit. Anytime you go against the natural order of the spirit, the, the God of all spirits, the most high who created this earth, this ain't no Christian book. This was written as uh, the the oh, rule book for all spirits, including our spirit. It will result in a consequence if you go against it. This is just the rule book. This is just the law. So, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to speak on that. Anyway, shalom.